controls our lives. It's like your watch without a battery. It keeps ticking and ticking. Impossible as it is to believe, they're the ones who are taking the decisions for us. Tonight, well-being. Terry Wogan's Time of Your Life at 9.30 on Pearl. Introducing Turbo Down from Columbia Sportswear. With its Omni-Heat reflective lining, it's ultralight and super warm. Turbo Down, unleash the power of warmth. Columbia. Philip Sonicare, the Yogini Singbo Fogate, Sitrake Yik Tai Tinki Dunlik, Nang Sum Yap Lakwe, Kitty Gung Titai. Philip Sonicare, Singbo Zan Dong Yata. Innovation and you. Philips. Okay, what's your name? 喺網上訂咗房嘅，你珍惜揀啊！呢度啲房好豪華嘅，冇持牌賓館標誌，價格咁單薄，基本嘅消防設備都冇。佢阿頭準備好啦，我哋係牌照事務處執法組，懷疑你冇牌經營旅館，冇牌經營旅館係刑事罪行，可被判監禁同留有案底。入住持牌旅館，旅遊安全資本。Stay at licensed guest houses. Enjoy safe travel. The time now is 7.46. The time check was brought to you by Seiko. We're back tonight with more local news. The government has found a new source of renewable energy. And as Evelina Lung tells us, it comes straight from the city's landfills. Each hour, around 8,000 cubic meters of biogas is released from the Chengkwan-o landfill. Biogas is a mixture of gases created through the breakdown of organic substances. Up until now, the gas has been burned off because there has been no use for it. During the process, carbon dioxide is released. Today, the landfill operator signed a contract with a gas company to sell this biogas and turn it into usable gas for households. For this to happen, a 12-meter-long pipe will be built to deliver the biogas to a treatment plant in Clearwater Bay. From there, the recycled gas will be delivered to different households. The gas company said buying biogas is cheaper than buying other natural gases. Saikong District Councillor Christine Fong said the gas produced should be used to compensate residents living next to the landfill. She said residents have been living in undesirable conditions for many years, and therefore they should be rewarded for this. The Two Moon Landfill operator is also believed to be in talks with a gas company to strike a similar deal. Evelyn Lang, TVB News. More than 2,000 subsidized housing units in four districts will go on sale next Tuesday. But rising home prices mean this batch will be sold at a greater discount than intended. Stephanie Choi reports. 2,160 subsidized housing units will soon be up for sale as part of the government's Home Ownership Scheme, or HOS. The um, basic approach to addressing our uh, housing problem is to increase supply. Uh, and also to incre increase the supply of uh, subsidized flats for sale. We'll um, uh, use our best endeavor to increase uh, supply of housing units on all fronts, including the uh, supply of uh, units that are available for sale at subsidized prices. The HOS flats range between 371 and 511 square feet in size. Compared with prices in August, they are marked down by 30 percent and cost between 1,873,500 and $3,264,600. The housing department said it would not speculate on whether the cost of the new batch of flats would affect their resale value. This is one of the two show flats on display at Domain Shopping Mall in Yao Tong. From tomorrow until January 18th, the show flats will be open to public. The application period for the HOS flats will be from the 30th of December to the 12th of January next year. Balloting is expected to take place in March and successful applicants can start choosing their flats in May. They can choose from flats at Sheng Choi Court in Chunwan and those at Qingchun Court in Tingyi and other units in Sha Tin and Yunlong. 
Successful buyers can expect to move in around 2016 at the earliest. Stephanie Choi, TVB News. And turning back overseas now, a Cuban opposition group staged a march through Havana Sunday, the first demonstration since last week's thaw in U.S.-Cuba relations. The group, the Ladies in White, is made up of wives and mothers of 75 jailed dissidents. They're hoping the shift in policy can improve the situation in Cuba. Last Wednesday, U.S. President Barack Obama reset Washington's Cold War-era policy with a historic prisoner swap. Cubans, for the most part, have treated the end of open American hostility as a triumph. U.S. officials will visit Havana in January to start talks on normalizing relations. An Italian man evaded security at the Vatican on Sunday night to reach a high ledge of the facade of St. Peter's Basilica. He went up there to protest against European Union laws affecting his business. The man apparently used ropes to lower himself down to the ledge from a roof that is accessible to tourists. He then paced on the ledge, talking on a cell phone. He also posted a picture of himself on Facebook, showing a rope dangling from above and another showing his feet at the edge of the ledge. It was the fifth time Marcello di Finizio has staged such a protest at the Vatican in recent years. He says he lost a beachfront restaurant in northern Italy because of changes in the law made in accord with a new EU directive to make the sector more competitive. During his previous protests, De Finizio stayed on the side of the church's dome for several days before police convinced him to come down. All right, Tony, over to you for sports. That's right, and we got football to talk about. Big matchup last night between the Gunners and the Reds. Martin Skirtle scored seven minutes into stoppage time to earn Liverpool a two-all draw with Arsenal. As James Wong shows us, the two sides will have to play much better if they have any hopes of finishing in the top four. Olivier Giroud's goal just past the hour gave Arsenal the lead 2-1 at Anfield. The Gunners looked on the way to three points when substitute Fabio Barini picked up his second yellow card and was sent off in stoppage time. Nine minutes were put on the clock due to Martin Skirtle's second half head injury. And wouldn't you know it, the taped up Slovak with the goal to tie the game 2-2. The Reds back in the top 10, five points back of the Gunners in sixth place, but nine points behind West Ham in fourth. Jamison Wong, TVB News. Well, we know from Cristiano Ronaldo that he's building his own museum. Well, he might want to think about putting it in the Portuguese resort of Madeira. And that's because there's already a statue of the Real Madrid and Portugal player in place. It was unveiled this weekend. Ronaldo also picked up the region's top civilian honor. The 29-year-old is favored to win his second straight Ballon d'Or as the world's best footballer. He's averaged a goal per game this season. On to basketball now, and in the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers beat the Memphis Grizzlies 105-91. to LeBron James scored 25 points and dished out 11 assists. Kyrie Irving also had a double-double with 17 points and 12 dims. The Cavs shot a season-high 61% from the field. Dion Waiters came off the bench to score 13 of his 21 points in the fourth quarter. Marc Gasol led the Memphis with 23 points. The Grizzlies were without forward Zach Randolph, who was injured. And finally tonight, Santa Claus appears to have given the gift of life to a man trapped inside a burning house in Australia. A group of firefighters were handing out candy to local children in New South Wales on Saturday when they smelled smoke coming from a nearby house. A local resident captured the drama as the crew sprung into action including firefighter Nick Carey, who was still dressed in his Santa Claus outfit. Carey rushed to provide first aid to an unconscious man inside the house until an ambulance arrived. The man is now recovering in hospital. And that's the news for tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night. Introducing Turbo Down from Columbia Sportswear. With its Omni Heat reflective lining, it's ultra light and super warm. Turbo Down, unleash the power of warmth.
Colombia. This is the new iPhone 6. And this is the new iPhone 6 Plus. They're the biggest iPhones ever made. They're huge. They've been totally redesigned inside and out. Which is huge. They could change the way you see the world. Ooh, that's huge. They can help you improve your health. Huge. They are the best iPhones ever made. Huge tastic. Please stop this. Huge normous. It's the same. Huge gantuan. You know these aren't words. Huge. Same word. Get the best for your smartphone with three Hong Kong's high-speed 4G LTE network. Better surfing, better streaming, better performance as tested by two computer magazines. With 16,000 hotspots, it's the largest in town. It's better at three. Sun Life Financial presents The Weather Report is brought to you by Sun Life Financial. Good evening. We had fine and very dry weather today. And as tonight's situation chart shows, at 5 p.m., a winter monsoon was affecting the coast of Guangdong. Today's temperatures range from 10.9 to 15.5 degrees Celsius, and the relative humidity was between 42 to 56 percent. The current temperature is now standing at 14 degrees Celsius, and the relative humidity is 59 percent. So, Freddie, how's the weather tomorrow? Ah. Oh. It'll be mainly cloudy tomorrow with sunny intervals during the day. Temperatures will range from 13 to 17 degrees. Expect sunny periods on Wednesday, then rain over the Christmas holidays. Tomorrow morning's air quality health index will range from moderate to high. And the maximum UV index forecast for tomorrow will be about 3. And now to the latest global weather update. Sunny in Shanghai and Xiamen. Cloudy in Guangzhou and Chengdu. Bright in Beijing, sunny in Tokyo. Rain in Ho Chi Minh City and Manila. Showers in Kuala Lumpur, rain in Jakarta. Showers in Karachi, sunny in Mumbai. Sunny in Cairo, bright in Nairobi. Sunny in Brisbane, cloudy in Auckland. Bright in Toronto, rain in New York. Sunny in San Francisco and Los Angeles. And it's cloudy in London, Paris, and Frankfurt. Showers in Amsterdam, sunny in Zurich. And that's the weather. Good night. was brought to you by Sunlight Financial. Life's brighter under the sun. If these attacks happen, innocent people will die. A lot of them. She entered the tube station six minutes ago. She's carrying the device. But I am not going home without that base. We are fighting a war. All that matters is winning. It's turned into a hostage situation. Who's taking the hostages? Jack Bauer. No matter what happens to me, you get this evidence to President Heller, okay? We are in the middle of a diplomatic crisis. We lost contact with six attack drones. Get out of there right now. Tuesday, 24, live another day at 10.40 on Pearl.